Typically when a patient presents with extensive actinic damage, they'll present with characteristic areas on the face and scalp that are erythematous. They often have lentigenes, dark and light areas of sun damage. Sometimes they'll have solar elastosis where they have yellow areas and papular areas. And these can extend over the scalp, forehead, face, ears, neck, chest, and even the forearms and dorsal hands. And for example, this patient who presented to my clinic was a 63-year-old male who had a previous history of skin cancer in multiple locations as well as actinic keratoses. And in this photograph, you can see his forehead has mottled pigmentation as well as areas that were previously treated with liquid nitrogen, which are seen as lighter areas. Oftentimes we can see precancerous change or sun damage in a patient manifests as wrinkling, hyperpigmentation, scaling, and erythematous areas, but also they can manifest as lesions that you only notice by palpating or touching them. And this is a challenge we as dermatologists face because the patients themselves don't appreciate the lesions, however we do when we examine them and touch their skin. A patient that I would typically prescribe 5-FU4 presents with extensive actinic damage on the face, arms, chest, and neck, and often these men or women may have been treated with liquid nitrogen before and may not want to further sustain some of the hypopigmentation or scarring, especially women in the chest area. I find using a cream is ideal in those circumstances. The current thought in dermatology is to treat the field. We want to treat the lesions that we see, but we also know, as I tell my patients, the same sun that got you here got you here and here. And though you may see an AK today here, they're actually probably going to occur in the similar area soon. And so we want to treat what we see and what we don't see, possibly with a topical cream that will get all of those lesions. The reason I often choose using a topical 5-FU or fluorouracil cream is because I feel like it's our duty as physicians not only to treat lesions but to prevent lesions. Typically an ideal medication would both treat a problem and help prevent that problem when fluorouracil offers us that alternative. Classically, we would just treat the lesions with something like liquid nitrogen. However, now we have an alternative and that is to prevent the lesions as well. Lifestyle is very important when choosing a treatment for a patient. I often have patients who are traveling to meetings, that they have personal events, and they don't want to have a mark on their face where they were just treated with liquid nitrogen. So in those cases, I'll give them a prescription for Floraplex and tell them, after your event in a week, begin this cream. I often have patients who travel abroad for work as well, and I will tell them to use the cream after their meeting or use the cream after their personal event, and maybe repeat that cream again six months later until they're able to come back and see me in office. The reason I choose Floraplex for my patients is because of ease of use. It's a 1% cream and I find that it's very well tolerated and now even more importantly it's affordable. Patients are able to purchase this cream with the coupon for only $10 which makes it a very viable option for almost every treatment. Use of a topical 5-FU is associated with a characteristic reaction pattern that you want for maximum efficacy of treatment. As they continue to use the cream, the area will become more erythematous. It'll also become crusted often and then mature into an eroded and necrotic appearance. This patient in particular, you see on his scalp, he's been applying the cream for approximately four weeks and he looks exactly like we want him to look. He has mottled erythema and we're talking about a very, very red, sometimes beefy red erythema. And you need that endpoint to get that inflammation associated with clearance of the actinic keratoses.
It's crucial to have patient education materials to give the patients. They need to see not only what patients look like that are treated, but also what patients look like during and after treatment. They need to see the erythema and the expected endpoint of treatment so they know to continue their treatment even though they may be uncomfortable or erythematous. As a dermatologist, it's wonderful to have a therapy available like Fluorplex that I can give to my patients to treat their actinic keratoses. Beyond the treatment of actinic keratoses, it's great to be able to prevent the progression of their premalignant lesions into invasive skin cancer.